Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and today we are going to show you the budget gaming PC we built for a budget of about 50,000 rupees. Now this is the AMD build and we have a separate video for the Intel build which we will bring to you shortly. For this build we chose the following components and all the prices mentioned are approximate and may vary a bit depending on where you get them. Now the CPU is the AMD Ryzen 1300X. The motherboard is the ASUS Prime B350MA. For the GPU, we went with the ASUS PH GTX 1050Ti, the 4GB version. The RAM we have is the Kingston HyperX Fury DDR4 Kit 8GB, uh, which is at 2133MHz. For storage, we went with a Western Digital Blue 1TB hard drive because you need all that space to store your games. The PSU is the Cooler Master Master Watt Lite 500. The cabinet is the Corsair Carbide Spec 4. Now this brings our total budget to about 45,500 rupees. We presume you have a monitor, keyboard and mouse and a copy of Windows. However, if you don't then we recommend the following. The Logitech MK120 keyboard and mouse combo is pretty good for the price. If you want a monitor you can take a look at the BenQ GW2470H. And a copy of Windows 10 Home should cost you about 7 to 8,000 rupees depending on where you get it from. Adding the monitor, keyboard and mouse combo and windows brings the cost of the rig up to a whopping 63,400 rupees approximately and yes we know we've crossed the 50,000 price budget but you need the essentials. Remember you can get some of the components cheaper if you know where to look. Also if you are in a place like Delhi for example, buying all the components from a vendor at Nehru place can get you a pretty good discount. So now that you know the price of the components, let's get building. Now that the beast is built, it's time to do what it's meant to do, gaming. So we played Doom at a 1080p resolution and the game ran at an average frame rate of about 80 frames per second on ultra settings, which is pretty good. Next up we have Battlefield 1 which also ran on ultra settings with HDR10 and DirectX 12 enabled. The game ran at about 60 frames per second and we are happy with the performance. Last but not least, we played Metro Last Light. To achieve the best performance, we played the game on very high settings and achieved an average frame rate of about 70 frames per second. Now remember, Metro Last Light is known for bringing graphic cards to their knees and we felt the stress here as well. 
despite being a 5 year old game it puts up a fight against our rail so to conclude we'd like to say that all the latest games can be played on 1080p on very high or ultra settings and give you a satisfying experience you can reduce the graphical quality in favor of frame rate but we think as long as the game can maintain 60 fps it's more than enough what did you think of this build comment down below and let us know and for more videos like this one you can like this video and subscribe to our channel we are building one more pc powered by an intel processor and will bring that to you really really soon thanks for watching and goodbye